Today we will be talking about the facial nerve palsy, the difference between uh, the central and the peripheral nerve palsies. So first let's talk about this, uh, the uh, the general idea. So so in the, the the reason that these two are different is because of the different innervation of the upper uh, and the lower face. So the lower face is only supplied by the contralateral fibers, um, the contralateral upper motor neuron fibers, uh, the supranuclear fibers. So and it has no innervation from the axillateral side. So if this is the facial nerve, nerve nucleus on this side, uh, then the fibers from the contralateral cortex uh, will come here, and it will so then supply the uh, the lower motor neuron, neurons will then supply the lower face. So you see there is no contralateral supply to this um, uh, to, to this nucleus. So the, uh, to the nucleus for the lower part of the uh, uh, for, for the lower part of the facial nerve. So there is no contralateral fibers. There, there are no ipsilateral fibers, but there are contralateral fibers. Okay. So, but the uh, the fibers for the upper uh, upper face, the the forehead, is uh, are supplied by the both contralateral and the ipsilateral fibers. This is the ipsilateral and this is the contralateral. So, uh, so now if we have the central nerve lesion, so the lesion, the supranuclear lesion, so the lesion that is above the facial nerve, then both the uh, both the contralateral fibers and um, both the contralateral fiber to the upper face and the lower face will be affected but as the fibers to the to the upper face on the ipsilateral side are intact so that uh, that that would result in uh, a sparing of the forehead the upper face and so this is the reason that uh, by, but there are no ipsilateral fibers to the lower face so the upper face uh, for, for so the contralateral so the lower face will be affected because there is there are no ipsilateral supplied to the lower face so that's uh, that's the idea. So now, if we have a lesion here, these two fibers will be affected, but the uh, but the fibers of the upper face will be intact because of the ipsilateral supply. But the lower face will not be intact because there is no ipsilateral supply. So, so that was the central lesion. Now, if we have peripheral lesion, then uh, the peripheral lesion, the entire face will be affected because all of these fibers they actually combine. Uh, these are uh, these are fibers uh, below the nucleus. So the below the nucleus, all of the fibers kind of they combine, uh, and uh, and there is no like difference between the central uh, between the ipsilateral and contralateral fibers because all of the fibers are combined. So when you have a lesion to uh, to the peripheral nerve, all of these fibers will be affected, and this will result in a uh, no spading of the forehead, but in the entire face will be affected. So this is just a little diagram of the peripheral, just to make the peripheral nerve. Uh, peripheral lesion more clear. So there, uh, just behind the ear here, there is a style of uh, mastoid foramen, and this is where the facial nerve kind of, kind of comes out. And this is if the peripheral lesion comes here, if, uh, if the lesion uh, occurs here, then the entire face will be affected because here the facial nerve then divides into the buccal and zygomatic, zygomatic branches. So if the lesion is here, then the entire face will be affected. But in the in the central, only the lower face is affected because uh, because of the reason that we talked about because the the lower face is applied by only fibers from the contralateral cortex and not from the ipsilateral cortex. So when there is a lesion to the supranuclear fibers of the contralateral uh, from the contralateral cortex, then the, uh, the, the then that will affect the lower face only. So hope this was clear.